All right, in this video, I'm going to show you a constant current regulator circuit that I've used many times. And the best part about this one is that you could probably build this today because it uses just standard components, NPN transistors, resistors, and that's about it. So no op amps, no shunt regulators, nothing fancy going on here. And uh, right here in this example, we're just driving a constant current through this LED. And you can see up on the meter, it's set to about 11 milliamps. And what the constant current regulator will do is regulate that current, of course. So as we increase the input voltage from 10, 11, 12, you can see that the current is constant. So this is a really great circuit for applications where your input voltage might change dramatically. Now another cool feature about this is that we have a digital input to it. So this blue wire here, uh, it would be like from a microcontroller. This is 3.3 uh, volts and we can turn the LED on and off. So turn the regulator on and off and we could even modulate that to control brightness uh, on the LED. So that's kind of cool. And uh, we'll get into the schematic in a second. But the other nice thing about this circuit is that you can expand it out to drive uh, higher current LEDs. So right over here, if I activate this circuit, we've got one of these star LEDs here. So it's basically the same circuit here multiplied by three. So I'm still using these tiny general purpose NPM transistors, I'm just cascading them out to drive even more current through that LED. So you see there it's set to about 45 milliamps. And as I change that, oops, as I change that voltage around, you can see that it maintains that 45 milliamps. So let me show you the schematic and we'll get into how this whole thing works. All right, so here's the circuit, and like I said, it is very simple. We've got the two transistors here. Those are uh, two N3904 NPN transistors, but, you know, whatever you've got lying around should work as well. Uh, in fact, I actually recommend you go and build this up because it is such a cool, easy circuit, and you will learn a lot from it just by kind of poking around and measuring things. Here's the two resistors, and then right up here is the LED we were driving the constant current through. And then V plus is the input voltage that I was varying into the circuit. So as you can see here, we're actually regulating on the low side of this load. So this is a constant current sink. If we're regulating up here at V plus, this would be a constant current source. So if you just kind of look at this, it'll kind of make sense how it works. So this blue transistor here has the V base to emitter junction voltage here of about 0.7 volts. Now, I did say this is quick and dirty, and that's because this voltage here is not precise. It's going to change. It's going to be 0.6. It's going to be 0.7, you know. There's going to be some variation in there. But for driving an LED, really, who cares if you're, you know, if you've got a little bit of, uh, of ripple in your current. So nothing precise here. But that junction voltage there is what sets up the constant current because the current path for the LED goes through the red transistor, through its collector emitter, and then down through R. And because this voltage, we're going to call constant, okay, is at 0.7 volts. So we have that voltage there, but we also have it across R. So it's a simple Ohm's law calculation to figure out what your constant current is going to be. You got your 0.7 over your R is your current. So you set R for whatever current you're trying to regulate at. So I think I use 62 ohms in that breadboard circuit. So if I take 0.7 divide by 62, and there's your 11-ish milliamps that I was regulating at. So pretty cool, right? Now, looking at how it actually does that, so as more, let's say your voltage is increasing, you know, you're gonna start driving this base a little bit harder. Now it's collector to emitter there, we've got that tied straight to ground. So it can actually turn on and off or regulate the red transistor. So the higher up your voltage goes, the more you're gonna drive the blue transistor, which also, well, actually, it turns off the red transistor to lower that voltage right here. And this is actually, this transistor here is actually dumping power. 
you know, so as your voltage increases, you've got your uh, voltage, your forward voltage across the LED, let's call that 2 volts. And then you've got your 0.7 volts here. So if you're driving at like 12 volts, you've got 2 there and you get your 0.7 there. The rest of that voltage is being dumped right across this transistor here. And that's how it works. So when you're actually designing this out, you know, there's a few things you need to look at, especially power dissipation, because you're going to have this drop here, and you can calculate these things out, times that current is your power, and then, of course, you know, I squared R power across that resistor here. So when you're sizing it out, keep that in mind. Okay, so, and then, of course, you can't turn any of these transistors, well, you can't turn this transistor on or off, without some base current, which comes from the microcontroller. And that's how you're actually able to turn this on and off and also modulate it if you want to PWM control that brightness on that LED. Which also, the other thing to keep in mind is that if you're using a big like TO220 transistor here and you're really trying to move some current, if you were to do that, you may need more base current. So that's another calculation you'll have to look into. But in this video, again, just quick and dirty. Don't want to get too much into the weeds, but check this out. I do have this simulated over here. So if you do want to design something out and really make sure it's going to work, uh, I'll have a link to this simulation in the description below so then you can actually uh, work with this. So the last thing I want to show you is if you wanted to cascade this and drive more current through your load using the small general purpose 2N3904 transistors. And you could do that. So right here you can see there's the 62 ohm. Let's just look at this first leg right here. So there's that first transistor. There's the 62, 62 ohm. And then like over here, right over, there's the VBE right there. So it's connected to the 62 ohm. But that transistor is right over here in the double up version of it. And what we're doing is actually looking at two of those 62 ohm uh, resistors here. And we're kind of averaging that voltage with these two 100 ohms, both going over to this transistor here. And maybe I'll make a follow up video on this and make like a monster constant current sink with this and I just put a whole bunch of transistors but this gives you the basic idea so you know if we're looking at this the one in red is like your driver transistor and then the one in blue is your regulator or your controller transistor so if you're going to cascade these the only thing you need to add is more driver transistors with those resistors and again if you look here I'm highlighting that and then at the bottom right you can see 10.15 milliamps there 10.15 milliamps there so that's a way to just add it up and, and you can just keep going with this as long as you have enough base current over here to drive all of those extra transistors and then the 100 ohms going to each one of them and then that kind of gives you that average back voltage right here the VBE that you're actually regulating across each one of those uh, tra uh, of those uh, resistors. Okay, so anyway, I thought that was kind of a cool video, a nice circuit just to keep in your back pocket, and hopefully uh, you like that. Thanks for watching.